going to speak about the Catholic worker, House of Grace, and her work over in the Kensington area. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. As soon as uh, Linda said that I'm a remarkable woman, all I could think of is I am in the presence of so many remarkable women. No doubt about it, I feel the spirit and the power in this room, and it is such an honor to stand here and just share a little bit about our work. Um, in Kensington, so I have to thank Linda for the invitation. Uh, so I'm with something called the Catholic Worker, and um, there's a big reason why it feels so right to be here. Our community uh, dates back to 1933 and was essentially founded on um, protesting and working against the works of war and embodying and embracing the works of mercy. So our uh, work in Kensington involves providing hospitality for homeless people and uh, providing health care for uh, people who are homeless, uninsured, and underinsured in the Kensington and Philadelphia area. So it occurred to me as I was sitting here that um, 1933 it started, on one hand people would say it's amazing that here in 2014 we're still here. The downside of that is that there are still systems of oppression in place that create poverty, that, that allow it or, or create our needing to be here to serve some of the most impoverished people. So um, we do this, though, through uh, the gracious generosity of others. And um, our work involves basic outpatient health care. We provide a place where people can come to take showers. We offer free dental care once a month. But more importantly, we hope that it's a place where people come to find dignity and peace. So, um, this is just a brief overview. You probably aren't even going to see the clinic. You're going to stand in the courtyard of the St. Francis Inn, but we'll let you know where we are down the block. So, I'll just close with one of my favorite quotes by Dorothy Day, um, which is, we have all known the long loneliness. I think this is the one thing that unites all of us. The only solution is love, and that love comes from community. It empowers us to continue out of love to work for peace and justice. Thank you.